All right guys, so today I will be showing you guys how to make zucchini bread. Now this is the, one of the traditions that we like to do every year and it's my favorite. So today I'll be taking you to my kitchen to show you how to make zucchini bread. So your prep time is about 20 minutes. Um, your cook time is 50, 50 minutes and it serves 14 people and um, it's a great thing to serve with milk. So I love this. And it is a lot of ingredients, so I'll be posting all the ingredients down below um, so you guys can um, know exactly the same amounts that I used in my um, dish. All right, so I already added uh, <coughs> one cup of extra virgin oil into the pot, the pan. Now you're gonna need a big pan. Next, you're gonna, you're gonna need three cups of flour. Here's two cups. You're just gonna put it in there. Just need to grab one more cup. Should be in here, and this is a one cup measurement. So just be a And I like to use a method, uh, put away as you go. So that way I don't get confused if I have, if I have used the product or not. So what I like to use do is, um, as soon as I'm done using that product, I'll put it away. That way I know if I use it or not. Just makes it more simple. All right, so here I have another uh, cup of flour. So a total of three cups of flour and one cup of olive oil. And you can use any kind of oil. You don't have to use olive oil. I just like to use that kind because it's a better kind for um, some more healthy hair, I guess. So I like to use that other than that. So here I have two cups of brown sugar. You're gonna add that to the mix. Here I have my eggs. So I'm just gonna go like that. I'm gonna crack my eggs in my bowl. Make sure you don't get any shells in there because you don't want like part of bread where it has like a crunchy shell. And go like that. Okay, so now we're ready to add the four eggs. There we go. It smells so good, that brown sugar. Ooh. Okay, so in here I have one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, three teaspoons of vanilla extract, and then I have the, the three teaspoons of cinnamon, and then I have the one cup of walnuts. I like to use this kind right here, the handcrafted walnuts. It just, this gives it like the best flavor in the world. They're like full walnuts. I'm just gonna add that to it right now. It's not started on my zucchini and I'm going to use three cups of zucchini just using a regular grinder looks like the thing beat me so I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel it for now and this should only take about five to ten minutes so I'll be back in five or ten minutes and since we're like halfway through I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven to 325 Start. Make sure you don't have anything in your oven so it doesn't burn. And over here I have my pan. I already um, put um, coconut organic oil around the pan so it doesn't stick to it. So it turns out good. Alright guys, so this is what I use. Just go like this. And I just keep turning it around. Keep grating it like this. Try not to get as much seeds as I can. So I just keep going like this, like if I'm sharpening a pencil, keep turning it. And I just only need three cups, so I don't really have to be doing this for a long time. You could leave the seeds in there, but it's up to you. Yeah, see that works. Just fish out the seeds, save them for later. Or... So here's that. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here. All right, so there's my three cups. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my mix. And I'm gonna mix it all together. So here it's mixing. Okay, now I can preheat the oven to 325 start. I'm gonna go ahead and pour the zucchini mix in the bowl. You can always taste it to see if it needs more sugar. And you can add sugar to it before you put it back in, before you put it in the bowl. That is. Okay. The pan size that I'm using is 13 by 6 inches. I've been just beeped, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in there right now. Timer set for 15 minutes, and I'm going to check it just here and there, just every 25 minutes or so. So there it's still go. gooey in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and um, add some more time here. Probably about 15 more minutes, 16 since it, since there's still a minute there left. So I'm gonna go. I'm really excited about this, guys! Like it's actually turning out to be like I tasted it, and it tastes really good. So I really hope it comes out. I really hope that all the flavors mix in together. And like I even want to put some chocolate on there, some Nutella. I don't know. Just I can't wait to, for this to be done. Eat it with my coffee, you know. It's like toast. Ooh, it's gonna be so delicious. Yeah, guys, I just can't wait for this bread to come out. It's already smelling so good. It smells like delicious. I can't believe like this is so simple. And you know, it came out of my own garden over there. So, so cool. I love squash. Squash is my favorite and it's healthy for you. I know a lot of you guys know how to cook squash in different types of way. Um, could you guys please, um, on, the, on the comments, could you guys please let me know some recipes so I can um, try out your guys' recipes. Four minutes from that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add my chocolate chips to it now. Um, you, this is optional, you can add them or not, but I love chocolate chips on everything, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my chocolate chips to my zucchini bread. Final product, I put honey to glaze it. Now it's time to try it out. Mmm, it is so good, nice and tender. Really good. Mm. I like it. Mmm, the honey is so good too. Well, I really enjoyed this video. So, thank you guys for watching. And please stay tuned for more videos. And click that like button if you like this video. And make sure to hit the, the little bell icon so you know when, you, when, I, when I post a new video. And if you want more videos like this, Stay tuned for more videos like this. Thank you. Bye.